What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle, the day in the world of indie games. We're we'll checking out a title called Corpus Edax. This is a weird one. This is somewhere in between Deus Ex and System Shock with a full melee combat system where you are just a normal citizen that's hanging out on a space station after you've been defrosted. It's super dystopian. Everybody has a job that they have to do. And during my first stay here, they gave me this apartment, though. This apartment's kind of nice. But they've said that there's a red button under my desk. And if I push it, I'll join the resistance. So, push the button? Oh, yeah. It opened up this safe over here. But this is kind of an interesting game that's nestled somewhere in between Deus Ex, uh, something like System Shock, with a little bit of, like, boxing hybrid heaven in there, and the combat system actually feels pretty good. So we're going to get underway. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can absolutely do that. It is available to you right now. You can go check out the demo right this second. What is that right there? I was able to write down a list of targets we need to eliminate based on the intel that we've received so far. Maxine Kinsley, Surrender Rajni, Donovan Campbell, Sir Gu Oh, dude, it exploded. All right, well, we've got to deliver this to the leader of the resistance so that we can start off our, our great and powerful red faction action here. There's someone named Jackie on the station that we've got to take it to. So while I do my spiel, we're going to try to find Jackie. But the demo is freely available. You can go play it right this second and give your feedback as to whether or not, you know, you like the game, you don't like the game. You can also find a link down there to my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live. But let's dive on into this thing. We're going to play for about 30 minutes. At the beginning of the game, I did some character creation. Uh, my character specializes in combat and also in hacking and things of that nature. So that should give me some other options here. From what I've seen so far, it looks like the game takes that all into account. Like, it even referenced my age when I was playing through the beginning part of the game for dialogue options and whatnot. Is that Jackie? Wait, please! You want to talk to me? I'll talk to you if you want. What's going on? How are we doing today? Can I help you? Oh, thanks for listening. Please, could you tell me if there was anybody else with you when you arrived here? Uh, I was the only one in the tram from the off-world station. Nah, not again. My brother's been missing since I got here. He always wears our family ring proudly, and I'm worried for him. It was the last time you saw him. Haven't seen each other in 30 years. It was hardly a minute for us, but he woke up a little bit sooner than me from the hyper chambers. He left me a reader a week ago, said he would wait for me here. I traveled to this district two days ago, and I've been here ever since looking for him. You're the sixth person I've asked, and nobody's seen him. I'm worried sick, especially with rumors around the district. Rumors? Well, not really rumors, I guess, but there's a group of people that uh, kidnap people. With each person I ask, my doubts and fears get leverage over my hopes. Who are the kidnappers? I don't know. I haven't dared to leave this spot in case my brother came by by some miracle and leaves through the building door that you just came out of. I heard they got masks on with red skulls. Could you let me know if you see or hear anything about my brother, please? Uh, yeah, I'll let you know if I hear anything. Thanks. I'll be waiting here for whoever comes out of the door. All right. Red masks, huh? I'm already getting into the gang life out here. My man's having a little puff puff on this side. We've got a visibility meter down in the bottom right-hand corner. What's up with you? Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they just unfroze me, if that's what you're asking. I need to get, like, up a level, and I need to find Jackie to drop off this reader with her. Let me see if I can find my way through the brutalist hellscape to make that happen. Looks like there's an outer city over here. Is that them sitting up on top of that wreckage right there? I bet you that's them. All right, let's see if we can go, like, interact with them at all. All right, up a ladder... Up another ladder. Let's get up to the proper level here. I'm actually digging the retro aesthetic of this game. It's got a good intentional look to it that I feel like is satisfying on the eye. Hey, buddy. I just got your uh, top secret plans to overthrow the government. Hey, cold night, huh? Haven't seen you around here before. I just got here from the off-world station. Oh, are you Jackie? I was told to deliver this to you. A list of names written by Jackson. He wrote this down. How did you get this and who are you? I just got here. Something happened while I was sleeping, like a vision or something. He told me to give this to you. Jackson's dead, asshole. If the CESF sent you, you're doing a lousy job of coming up with a story. I'm telling you the truth. I went to sleep in my apartment. He told me to find that list in a safe. Can't believe what I'm hearing. We used to talk about making this list before he, uh, died. I don't know if I can or even want to believe Jackson visited you in your dreams, but this list is too damn important right now. I'm not lying, so, uh, what's a bunch of names anyways? 
These names, it's a hit list. Up until now, nobody knew the names of the people in charge inside the world government. We know exactly where and who to strike now. This list is invaluable to our cause. We're getting a second chance. By we, you mean uh, the Salvation. A group of people united by a common goal, the betterment of everyone's lives. Jackson was the first leader, and well, now I'm the leader. Even if we're just a fraction of what we used to be. Jackson's ambitious, idealistic, and a visionary. He brought people together against a common cause, and after his death, everything crumbled down. Now I'm left with trying to build it all up again. Which brings me to you. You seem like you can handle yourself. You should join us. Okay, but like, why should I? We need a new system of governance. These people on the list need to go. United, we can make them fall. The list was the missing piece, and now we know where to strike. Look around you. Does this look like the sort of place that you want to spend the rest of your life? I mean, they did give me a nice apartment. Yeah, that's how they get you, and the next thing you know, you're complacent and submissive. The apartment won't be yours at the slightest infraction. What infraction? That'll be up to them, and it's always changing. Before you, there were countless others. And just because you have it nice at the moment doesn't mean that the majority of others have it that way as well. Just look around you. So you want to join us? I mean, it seems like uh, it seems like the game will be more interesting if I do. Welcome to the Salvation. Before I bring you to our headquarters, I need you to prove that you can handle yourself. Fighting, talking, whatever you prefer. We need to know we can count on you. There's a group called the Skulls. They've kidnapped our people. They're headquartered over on the east side in the abandoned hotel. I need you to bring them back as soon as possible. The Skulls abduct people and then they're never seen again. We don't know what they're doing to them. Alright, why haven't you saved them? I was scouting before you showed up. Oh, you were scouting. You weren't huddling on top of a building like a coward. Gotcha. Uh, the list is extremely important. I need you to take it to the HQ and you need to bring our people back. Okay, anything you can tell me? There's a hole in the roof on the left side that seems like it's the path of least resistance. But it's up to you how you want to do it. We just need our people back and safe. All right, I'll go hit them up. Not here. Meet me at our HQ. There's an abandoned sewer entrance to the north of the wasteland. Good luck. Ooh, they gave me stats? I would love to have stats. Ooh, I have so many stats. All right, let's put some into combat real fast just so I know I can throw a punch. We'll go with, like, some lock picking in there. Maybe a little bit of athletics. Maybe, like, a little, just a, just a little, like, schmeckle of systems operation. And then we'll dump that last point into lock picking. We also got some points over here, which is good. Let's go with intuition. And let's go with a little bit more strength. That sounds all right to me. I've got 18 corpa creds. All right, dude. I'm a corp accredited. Let's go see what this place has going on with it. So I think I see the hotel leering at us from above the landscape up here. Can I interact with, like, all this stuff over here? It seems like there's doors and things. There's a keypad. Can I hack it? How do I hack it? Yeah, hack that thing, dude. All right, so apparently I right-click and ping. And then I got to do matches. Oh, my God, that was so fast. All right, 48, 86. Uh, I see 256s. Got the fi oh, I got to get all of them, bro? Disconnect real fast. We'll try this again now that I got a better vibe for it. We got 11s right there. We had 12s up that way. So there's our 12s. Six I don't think I'm very good at hacking, dude. I think this might be a little bit too difficult for me. I'm guessing with more hacking points, we're going to get like more time. And it's going to stay revealed for longer or something. That's kind of the way that it's feeling to me right now. Well, here's our hotel. I see a guy in a red mask. Okay, restricted access over here, so we can't go through in that way. Something death, so that's always a good sign. There's a bunch of bricks over here. I'm going to pick up a brick real fast. What is that? Your body. Uh, I guess I'll store it. I don't know if I need that. Hey, guys. You better have a good reasons for being so close to our place. Everybody knows to stay away from here. Um, I was looking to join up. We're more than a group, shithead. It's not up to me to decide that. Okay. Are you really saying no to extra muscle? Ah, it's not my job to recruit. Take it up with Oppo. He's in the basement. Go ahead and try your luck. Put this bandana on and skulls inside the hotel won't attack you. Alright, whatever. Go on in. Bandana? Your body pamphlet. Oh, cool, dude. It gave me a plus two to my athletics. Sick, dude. I don't know if I have the bandana on, but I guess we'll go inside. I couldn't find the bandana inside my inventory. I just found the magazine about exploring my body. What's up, boys? It's just me, your fellow gang member. What's going on? We just kind of like hanging out and kicking it? Good to know, good to know. So down in the basement is where we want to go. 
Anything going on inside the bathroom? An expired pill bottle? I guess I'll take... Oh, it's worth money, dude. Nice. Okay. Well, I guess everything's worth something around here. Is there anything inside this medical thing? There's... Oh, I can't break it open. I saw glass, and I thought maybe I could break it open. You can alternate between combat and non-combat with just the R key. Stairwell looks kind of rough. I don't know if I'm going to need bottles. A U-fix syringe. All right. I'll take that. Can I have that broom? It looks like I can equip it and use it as like a beat stick. What's up with these creepy dudes over here? Skulls. I mean, they're not the most original lot when it comes to selecting names, but they're trying their best in the middle of a dystopian hellscape. Blood drag marks? That can't be good. That's got to be bad, right? Yep, they've been kidnapping. It definitely looks like they've been kidnapping people. Uh, maybe just pocket the pitchfork? I don't know. I don't think the pitchfork fits in anywhere, though. But I can stab people with it, so that's a start. There's a reader over here. What does a reader do? Uh, the reader. I'm bleeding out. They overwhelmed us. I think that we were all normal citizens. If anybody finds this reader, tell Jackal. Oh boy. Okay, so this is uh. This is this is Jacqueline's thingy. All right. We'll just kind of like leave that on the ground. I don't think I can pocket any more stuff. Yeah, it's making me like carry stuff in my hand right now. I think we know what happened to the first batch of people that got kidnapped. It looks like they're filling up the meat locker right now. Is this the basement where we want to be? What's that right there? A U-fix syringe? Yeah, throw that in my pockets. You never know when you're going to need a heal. I don't think they, they've murdered a lot of people. I feel like joining this gang was probably a bad idea. You can see a little path right there. Where does that lead to? There's like a vent right there. Doesn't look like there's anything down at the end. Okay. I don't know where this let me out at, but like... A couple of guys over here. I don't know if I should like fight them or not, dude. They definitely seem like the bad guys. Ooh, there's a safe under the counter down here. Can I hack it? Is this one going to be like easier? We got 21s. So 21. We got 20. We got 58. Give me another 58. We got 88, 98, 83. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. All right. So 21s, 33s. I see 35s. I see 47s. Give me another ping. 42s and 18s. Hey, we're in. Nice, dude. What's in here? Anything good? Ooh, big illicit corpo cred cash. Nice. 100 bucks, dude. I'll take that. And it says the guy I'm supposed to be talking to is like, I don't know. Do I have the right mission even like flagged up? I think finding the room was enough for us to go back and tell her what happened to our people. But are we really getting good solid revenge here? You know, like, we should probably dispense some Batman-style justice on some of these guys. But, like, Batman-style justice, though. Like, these guys are kidnapping and murdering people. We just can't leave them functional, can we? So I think what we need to do if we want to start, like, our, our Batman-style justice crusade is we just got to find one that's, like, off by himself. And then we just got to mess him up. What's that right there? A shiv? Yeah, that'll work. Give me the shiv. A broken motherboard. I guess I'll take that. What's inside of here? Anything good? I can't see anything in there. I mean, I've got a prison shank. So now we just got to find a guy and shank him. That's pretty much it. Oh, here we go. Here's our guy. Here's our guy. This is our dude right here. We're just going to get some revenge for the poor townsfolk around here. We're just going to make this happen. There we go. That's how we do it. Oh, my. Is my shiv still good? Okay, we got him right there. That eliminates one problem. Let's keep tooling through this place, looking for any other goodies we can get. Oh, what's that? Shivd? What, you want to get shanked? What's up? Yeah, prison knife for everybody. It's not so fun when you're on the receiving end, huh? You were probably part of a whole bunch of enshankenings prior to this, and now the enshankening is nigh on you. It's just like what Jesus said. Shank unto others as you would have them shank unto you, dude. 
That's it. That's the whole secret right there. We have in here, we got like a retracto beam. What is it? A lock picking kit. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll take that. All right. Now we got some lock picks just in case we come across anything. Hey, look, there's a vending machine over here. I can get beans and meat. What do I want? Yeah, give me that right there. Canned protein. I'll take that. Apparently, I've got it in a storage slot right now. The thing is that the inventory is, like, all over the place. Like, I've got, like, some kind of, like, mix Mr. Fix-It things on me, but I don't really know how to use them. I press the hotkey, and then it just disappears. So I'm not really too sure on that front. Don't mind me. I've just murdered a couple of your friends. You don't need to be aware of that. Did I just drop my shank? Oh, no. I'm going to need the shank. We need, we need the shank real bad. The shank is going to be necessary for what's happening here. Uh, yeah, get shivved. Have fun being shivved. Oh, I'm down to just fist now? All right, let's whoop her up real bad. Keep kicking. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. What you want to do now? Ooh, block that hand, though. Ooh, get rocked. There we go. Down she goes. Nice impact on the punches and whatnot. The ragdolling is kind of goofy, but, like, I think I broke my shank. Give me the bottle real fast. I'm going to break a bottle on one of these dudes real quick. One of these boys, they're getting bottled right now. Doop, doop, doop. Bottled! Oh, I can stick him with the bottle? Nice, dude. Oh, there's a bunch of you guys, huh? All right, you're down. I'm hella beat up, though. I don't know if I'm regenerating or anything right now. Uh, I think I got to use this thing, dude, but I don't know how to use it. Uh, just dodge out of the way for a second. I've got my syringe on me. Uh, can I, like, put that in my one slot? There we go. We're back up. All right, I got the controls down now. Block him. Mm-hmm. Everybody's a gangster till they're spitting their chicklets. Then they don't want it no more. Ow! Okay, I caught a shoulder right there. That's all right. She tried to kick me while I was down, dude. There we go. Big kick! Oh, I was going to try to get her with the big kick. Big kick! Ugh. Sit on the ground. And we finish him. There we go. Just Oh, she's already dead? All right, I got a little bit ahead of myself right there. Hey, I syringed myself. Oh, now I've got an empty syringe that I can just stab people with? <laughs> this is the most crackhead combat system that I've ever seen in my life, dude. You ever wanted to play a video game where you can stab a man with a used syringe? Well, welcome to Corpus Edax. I mean, we obviously have to keep our crusade of justice going down into the basement, right? We've got to do that. If we don't do that, we're not being a good crusader for justice. Like these bandits... They're just going to keep doing bad stuff to people unless I bottle them all. So let's go ahead and take care of them, dude. What was that right there? Uh, you fix syringe. Yeah, throw that throw that in my pocket real fast. I'm going to need that. Maybe I'll take the you fix syringe real quick. And, like, throw that on the ground. You fix syringe. There we go. Now I used it on me. And now I've got, like, an old dusty syringe that I can shank people with. This guy right here is about to get it, though. This guy's about, he's about to get it. He doesn't know, but he's about to get it. <laughs> Just lobotomize him with, like, an old dusty syringe that we found laying around. Oh, man, this is the business right here. Uh-oh, there's one coming. Hold on. Grab this chair. Oh, he walked back the other way. Is there, like, any other things around here that I can use to, like, dispense with these nerds? I mean, I've got a big barrel. Maybe that'll do something for me. Eh. Yeah, get barreled. Just stay on the ground, bro. Just stay on the ground. I don't think you want these problems. You don't want this red-hot heat that I'm serving up. These knuckles get the business done, brother. Okay, I'm just gonna... Ow. Stop that. Oh, he's the boss man right there. I'm not happy with the way this fight is going so far. I'm just going to try to, like, dash out of the way. Is there anything I can use to, like, mess with these dudes? Uh, grab that. And then 
Yep, grab that and then throw it. Okay, all right. That didn't do as much as I had hoped or expected. Uh, is there anything? Oh, there's a brick. Yeah, I'll take a brick. Give me a brick. Yup, caught him in the face with a brick. That's what's up. Okay, I'm just going to keep going around this way. And you guys can, like, do... Oh, I got beat to death. Unfortunately, we're back to the beginning right now. But that was a pretty good demo of the combat system, right? Like, you guys got to see what the combat looks like. And it's pretty visceral and it feels all right. Both the blocking and the hitting people and the improvised weapons and things that are laying around. Like the shank... Or, like, being able to stab a guy in the back of the head with a syringe in order to incapacitate him. That's, like, good stuff right there. That feels all right to me. Now that I showed you the combat and whatnot, it's probably better that we just go back to Jackie and let her know that all her friends are dead. What'd you find? Where are they? Uh, here you go. Room full of corpses. Sorry to say, all your buddies are in there. Oh, no. I don't know what to think right now. This is in the list. It's too much happening at once. We can't waste any more time. We need to regroup with the rest of the group. Follow me. All right, lead the way on out. You guys live in a garbage pile, dude? You guys should definitely not live in a garbage pile. That's not a good look. So, like, what level of corporate infraction do you have to commit in order to end up living inside the garbage pile like Oscar the Grouch? Was it something bad? Was it spitting? All right, this is it. Let's get inside before they see us. From I don't see any drones or... Oh, dude, we live inside of... Oh, my God. I thought those were stars when I looked up, dude. That's just like we live inside a giant enclosure. Ugh, that's the worst. The demo is a work in progress and not representative of the final game. Being indie means I can make changes as fast as I can work on them. So feel free to give me feedback. Oh, cool. So the storyline ends that right there. There was more areas for us to explore. I mean, I can go back and take a look at them. So now that we know talking to her ends the demo, I guess we'll just play around for another couple minutes and, like, see what we can do inside the sandbox. I've seen some other people, like, fiddling around and posting GIFs of the actual game itself. So I know there's more stuff around here because they're fighting and doing things in environments that I haven't seen. So I guess I just beeline the main storyline. That tends to be what I do in games like this is, like, I hit the main storyline really hard until the other sort of emergent outside stuff becomes apparent and then I pick the one that I like the best and I just sort of go with that. But there's probably a lot more things for us to do around here inside this demo other than just the main narrative. You can actually get out and get on top of the streetlights. That's kind of sick. Maybe I'll get on the tram and just go back to work. I wonder if they'll even allow me to do that. Is that something that I'm allowed to do? Like, I've murdered a lot of guys today. Like, I feel like I've been out of cryo-freeze for all of about eight minutes, probably, and I've murdered a pretty big chunk. Well, I guess this is a loaded save, so I actually haven't murdered anybody yet. But I'm going to need some direction on where to go. I don't know exactly where I am, dude. I just keep walking around concrete areas. One thing I would recommend for this little area is add more signage around. So there's a bunch of signs that you see every now and again, but add more signs that lead to those signs that, like, indicate where the prime... I guess locations are that'll draw people's attention. So, like, I was looking for the tram, and it took me a hot minute to find my way back to the tram so that I could maybe go back to where I work at. I don't even know what my job was. They said I was in some kind of, like, food reclamation or something else like that. But other than that, I couldn't tell you. Oh, look, more Red Skulls guys. What's up, dudes? How you doing? Oh, you guys want to fight me? Is that what we're doing right now? We're doing, like, a we're doing a little punchy man stompy fight? All right, let's punchy man stompy fight then. Yeah, get out of here. There we go. Go to sleep. Yeah. I think they want it bad. I think they want it real bad. These guys think they're tough, dude. These guys think they're raw. They want these knuckles. What do you want to do? Oh, I was too far away. I was trying to get her with the... Oh, I kicked her into the barrel. Nice, dude. Sweet. What's in here? Anything good in here? Restricted. Interesting. Well, all my healing items from the base didn't load in with me when I spawned in. So we're going to have to do this without taking too much damage. Oh, no, dude. Apparently they have some kind of hideout back here, but it's not in the game yet. Oh, it's the industrial district entrance. I bet you it's going to be a quest to clear these guys out at some point. I bet you that's what... What is F doing? Huh like a lean yeah I think it is I think it's so you can lean and look around corners and be like Dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee -dee. do I still have my oh I don't have my beans either dude 
We're going to have to find a vending machine around here if we want to get our health back after that little dust up. Sometimes you got to fight a guy. It is what it is. Listen, this is the normal subway experience. You stab a guy with a syringe, then you go to the subway to try to get where you're going, and then you're assaulted by thugs, and you got to fight them too. That's the way that it goes. I, I will take you. Yes. Go inside my inventory. Canned protein. What is this costing me? Is this costing me anything, or do I just get those? I mean, it gave me my health back. That's some pretty good canned protein right there, dude. Can you imagine being beat all the hell? Your ears are hanging halfway off the side of your head. You got your, like, shit absolutely snapped off in a fist fight, and then you just eat a can of Heinz beans, and then you're all good to go. That'd be some amazing marketing for them. Oh, I don't think it's going to let me go back. I think the door is actually shut off on me. So yeah, it's a pretty tiny demo, but I feel like they did a really good job with what they have in here. Like the core components, like the fisticuffs and the fighting, feel really, really good. Like, I like fist fighting guys in this game. And so I wish the demo had a little bit more breadth to it, like there was a little bit more to play. But that's not due to anything other than the fact that I want to play this game more from what I've seen right now. And everywhere I try to go to eke out a couple more minutes, it's like, oh, not in the demo. Oh, not in the demo. Oh, not in the demo. But they got their point across. It seemed like there was a spider web of ways to get through that red skull base to get down to the bottom and, like, square up with the boss if you wanted to. The combat feels good. The skill system is interesting. It's not too far outside the box, but I do like their hacking mini games so far. I just got to figure out what there is that we can actually do next by knocking on doors and talking to people, I suppose. But we're running low on time. It's been like a 30-minute video. So my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Keep an eye on this one. I think if this one actually gets the development care that brings it across the finish line... There's a lot of little indicators in this title that to me show the developer knows what he's doing when it comes to creating immersive sims. And this one could end up being a, a fun little dystopian mess. I will see you all later. Oh, apparently I didn't find her brother inside the building either. So I've actually got to like locate when and where her brother is at. Ooh, I thought he was just in the dead body pile that we found inside that freezer. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? So now I got to go back and shank some more guys. I'll see you all later. Thanks for hanging out, folks. And that's about all I got for you.